New tonight at 6, investigators in New Jersey say someone tried to set fire to a synagogue there early this morning. CBS 2's Alicia Reed is in Bloomfield, where a number of law enforcement agencies are now on the, tra on the trail. Jessica, this incident happened in the back of this building. That's where the entrance to the synagogue is located. It was quite a scare this morning, and all activities had to be canceled for the day. These are surveillance images of the individual police are looking for. They say around 3 o'clock this morning, the person on your screen ignited a Molotov cocktail and threw it at the front door of Temple Nur Tamid. They were wearing a ski mask, black hoodie, black pants, and black sneakers. The bottle broke, but the fire did not ignite, so there was very little damage to the building. The suspect then ran down the driveway and took off. The Jewish Federation of Greater Metro West New Jersey is working with local law enforcement, the New Jersey Office of Homeland Security, and other partners. Bloomfield PD says the Essex County Prosecutor's Office, FBI, and ATF have begun a joint investigation. Now, Rabbi Mark Katz says this incident comes at a time where there has been an increase in anti-Jewish hate crimes. When religious leaders walked in this morning, they realized they had to cancel classes where 200 children ages K through 6 were about to make their way to the synagogue. No child should have to face uh, the fear of coming into their place of worship. And unfortunately, um, the world that we live in means that a lot of places that were once safe whether we're talking schools, whether we're talking parks, whether we're talking synagogues, um, are places where um, where people's anxiety goes up as they walk into them. Rabbi Katz says there will be heightened police presence here throughout the week. Anyone with information is urged to call the Bloomfield Police Department. In Bloomfield, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News.